Hey guys, water don't pass Gary for Nigeria. <laughs> Days after bandits, you know, when they don't buy Emia, hmm? when they don't buy the Emia finish, they can't adopt about 150 in Gubri. Bandits have adopted over 150, 150 persons and wrestled over 1,000 cattle in some villages in Gubri Emirate of Sokoto State. Daily Trust can report. Nigerians, these people, they don't they vessel. This incident happened a few days after the death in kidnappers den of the emir of Gubri Halaji Issa Mohammed Bawa, who was also the district head of Gatawa. The monarch was on July 29 kidnapped alongside his son and six others on the Sokoto Sabon Burini Road. In the viral video, the diseased whose hands and legs were tied was seen appealing to the Sokoto state government. Okay, uh, the his relatives and friends to help pay the ransom demanded by the kidnappers. The district head had said that the bandit set a deadline for the payment of the ransom, failure of which they would, you know, do what by him. Hundreds of youth in the area ultimately staged protests after the buying of the district head, forcing the state government to impose a curfew on Sabon Burini. Confirming the latest abductions, Professor Bello Bada of the Department of English, okay, in Usma Danforio University, Sokoto, said it was unfortunate that Bandits had returned to their, you know, deadly operations in the area just a few days after the death of the district head. He said, the most painful thing about it is that some important people in the area could access the telephone numbers of the bandits and could even have conversations with them. Why? It means the bandits are known. People in the area go for negotiation with bandits. It means they know where they are. Why do bandits go to market freely and sell their cows in the area? Why is it that in the area, about 1,000 cows were scattered away by bandits? Do the cows have wings to fly? What about our intelligence? How did the bandit pass through villages and towns without being noticed? Hmm. They are taking the, the wrestled cattle into the bush, while at the same time, residents of some communities within the district are inside the same bush, mining for good. No, something is wrong. We should tell ourselves the truth. We have to sit down and address this problem for the future of our children, the professor said. A member of the Sokoto State House of Assembly representing Savo Burini North, Amino Boza, said a total of 151 people were adopted between uh, Samia and Sabon Burini a day after the death of the Sariki Gabri, the bandits attacked Samia village again, buying some people and adopting unspecified others. Okay, they also attacked another village, Ya Farunu village, and adopted 22 people, and they went to the next village and adopted 11. So, a total of 195 people have been adopted, and they are still in captive. Beside the abduction of people, we have lost over 20,000 acres of land to the bandits. They stopped our people from cultivating the land for several years now. Over 92% of our wealth has been wasted by these bandits, he said. 
Boza alleged that there were no security personnel in most of the banditry-prone areas in Sabon Burini, which includes Maharaba, Chonsawa, Lali, Tagariki, and Kwara Tabazawa. He said, in Kwanara, Maharaba, is the most dangerous spot among all the spots. I have mentioned banditry operation in taking place in this particular spot almost daily, daily. Okay, some of our people had to change their route through Niger Republic whenever they are going to Sokoto because it is safer. We don't have a single security checkpoint along the road. The locations of most of the bandits. Leaders are known. Belu Toji, for instance, is residing in Fakir, and from Fakir to Shikafa is in distance of less than three kilometers. Halilu, okay, is residing in Tosubaba village and the Jum Jumo Baki in Gangara village. So they know them. Yeah. So they know them. They know their names. This is a very simple thing now. Now the federal government has abandoned the northerners to address their matter by themselves. Look at what, just, just see a situation whereby uh, the community people, you know, allow, uh, they they allow communications between themselves with bandits. You understand? These bandits, they come to the market. Some people, some women, too, they still they go, they meet them for, for their hiding place. So that means they, they are not hiding. They know their whereabouts. They know everything about them. So why are they now, you know, uh, 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 crying? I don't talk this matter before. That the Northerners will be the people that will save themselves. They also said that there is no checking point in those area when in the in the in the southeast you cannot drive for 30 minutes you will not see up to five checking points but all these areas when we say bandits don't operate you know uh unhindered no check no checkpoint now wow i better make a drop out for you what's your take on this uh when you allow people to take advantage of few they will do it. You keep on shading your people. You don't want to expose them. Then they chop you inside. This will continue to happen. If the Northerners don't come out and expose these people, this is how they are, they are going to be, you know, treating them. It's really very sad. It's sad. Really sad indeed. Make a drop out for you. Share your thought below the comment section. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.